This is the two inch suction nozzle I've been working on. This is the ready to go production for sale model. It is the Utmost Outdoors SN2 J15. So suction nozzle two inch jet is a 15 millimeter jet. Works best with that Seaflow 3,700 gallon per hour bilge pump I've been working with. You can get about 20% bonus suction if you buy one of these impellers from utmostoutdoors.com. Uh, basically this thing prints like this right here. There's no support structure inside this. Basically what I did is I took a circle here and here, came up about 30% of the way on each side and transitioned it into a pentagon. I rounded four out of the five sides of that pentagon, just leaving the top part pointy like this, meaning there's no overhang that's too steep to print. And this just prints up absolutely beautifully. This is printed in ABS plastic, because it's, it's cheap and it's good for prototyping, I would recommend using ASA plastic. It doesn't smell as bad, and it's basically just a UV proof sort of high quality version of ABS. You can absolutely print this out of PETG as well uh, without an enclosure required. And I believe it is, what is the height build space required? Uh, so about 235 millimeters and you can fit this in the bamboo labs goes up to 256 so that's how you can print this yourself this has a uh, inch and an eighth fitting for the bilge pump i also have a model with the inch and a half built on and that way if you just have the inch and a half hose from your bilge pump straight into here you can go ahead i just had the smaller hose and figured it was easier to maneuver so i was using this for my own testing the tip here you print out this piece separately. I glued this on with CA glue. Basically you have to print threads vertically on a 3D printer. You can't print the threads at an angle like this. So that's why this was printed separately sitting flat. And that then allows you to thread on different nozzle tips. So this can be a wear item, if it wears out. You don't have to waste all this plastic. You can just print another tip and screw that on. It's a couple different varieties. These tips basically narrow the intake slightly so that if you do get a plug up, it's gonna happen at the tip. You can just blindly stick it around there and when a rock gets stuck, you just have your hand there, pull the rock off, toss it, pull the next rock off, toss it. And you don't have to worry about getting plug ups by having a nice big opening, and having that happen down the line. This is a little crevicing tool. So awesome, you can thread that on. I also have a nozzle extension included in the file, which brings this out a little bit further threads on the end so you can then put whatever tip you want onto that extension. Uh, the reason you have these holes here is this intake is 30% the size of the big intake here. So all of that suction gets concentrated in one small area to right get into those cracks. But then you run into the issue of there's less water going up the tube because of this restriction. So I added an extra third of surface area by these four precisely sized holes and that keeps things moving through the pipe just fine. If you need that little extra bit of suction, you just take your hand and cover some of these holes, get all those nuggets, hopefully, out of that crack, take your hand away and everything flows up nicely. So tons more testing to be done on all of this, but it's ready to go and it's good to go. Uh, I guess I can't just sit this there with that weight on the tip, so we'll take that apart. I also have an option where, because this goes inside your suction hose, and then for the dredge, it actually goes around the outside of the suction hose. So there's no, it, it always gets bigger as it goes to prevent plug ups. And I have another two versions of this with both the small and large pressure fitting that is threaded. So here's the subsurface gold dredge. I'll try to get this in frame here. And here there's threads on the bottom. And then I printed a flared section. So it basically takes it from the size that would normally go inside your hose to what would fit on the outside of your hose and transitions that without the need of a hose. Because this is a subsurface sluice, if you tilt it slightly up or down, it doesn't affect the velocity of the water traveling through this underwater tube like it would with a surface sluice. So if you come down about 10 degrees like this, you're not really gonna affect your suction at all, but you do wanna keep it level left and right, which is why I would recommend in this orientation, you still keep floats on the backside here just to keep things level. Uh, a smart water bottle, which is like a really long, narrow one liter bottle would work well. These Gatorade bottles seem to work and they just thread in on here. So you just take the cap off your bottle and there it is, empty bottle, and you thread it on and it seals up and it's waterproof and it's good to go. 
So this unit right here is ready to go gold mining. You just apply water here with your 3,700 gallon per hour bilge pump. Do your best to keep it level left and right and don't go like straight down like this. You would get that nozzle extension on here and get into those deeper crevices or don't use the threaded version and get a two inch suction hose clipped on there. But yeah, that's the product. You can purchase this as a file. It'll be a 3MF file, which includes the correct print profile exactly as I printed it here on my Bamboo Labs P1S printer. It's an enclosed printer, so you can print it out all sorts of fun different things. I imagine if you really, really wanted to, you could use like a carbon fiber nylon and this thing would be pretty bomb proof. But yeah, whatever you want to print this out of, it'll print. If you print with basic PLA plastic, that's actually a really strong, good plastic but it doesn't deal with heat very well. So I would just use a light color. So if it's sitting out in the sun, it doesn't start warping where the threads are or anything like that. And you can print this pretty much out of anything. Um, get out there, experiment. If you want to use your own system, hook a hose up to this, hook a hose up to this, use whatever sluice you want. Just keep that sluice as close to the surface of the water as you possibly can. If you're using an electric bilge pump to maximize your suction, or uh, you can check out on my website, the subsurface gold dredge. And uh, I think I put together a pretty cool product with that. So go check that out. These kind of are, you know, two products designed to work with each other perfectly. I'm just selling them separately in case anyone wants a suction nozzle for some other purpose. Till next time. Cheers. Thanks for watching everybody. You might notice I've got a 2,000 gallon per hour bilge pump currently hooked up. Actually still has a decent amount of suction considering it's just the small pump. Uh, that would work, but I think you will see better results with the big pump. I, it was just working so well with this big pump and this uh, smooth bore meter and a half long two inch suction hose. I just wanted to see if that could actually do it. And with this subsurface setup, like yeah, you'll pass rocks through, you'll, you'll get suction even with the 2000 gallon power bilge pump using my impeller. So that's about 120 watts if I remember correctly. This is about 180, 185 watts. And that's what I would prefer because you want a little extra suction just to get into cracks and crevices. But this thing works.